news. Families and members of the crematory industry are outraged following an ABC 15 investigation finding bodies stacked in cars and rotting outside a local crematory. Thanks for choosing us tonight. I'm Katie Rammel. ABC 15's Mary Ellen Resendez is live near Sun City West with a look at the violations the ABC 15 investigators caught on tape. And Mary Ellen, uh, I think the first thing we saw was the black smoke rising from the smokestack. Is that normal? Not according to Paul Gabriel. He runs the crematorium here at Sun West Funeral Home. Take a look at this. He has actually installed a video camera over his smokestack so he can see the emissions while he is burning. And he tells us if he sees black smoke, he knows something is wrong. It's not something you see very often. Paul Gabriel was stunned when he saw dark black smoke rising into the air from the crematorium at Allstate Funeral Home. But even more disturbing to him were these pictures. Bodies stacked in cardboard boxes left rotting in a van overnight. Those cardboard containers, first of all, can't handle that weight. Secondly, it, it's just the decent treatment of deceased that you keep them separated and, and respect the individual. Gabriel says what he saw in our story is the result of a poor economy. The State Board of Funeral Directors and Balmers just isn't funded to go out and make the spot checks like they used to be able to do. Uh, I think it's now up to ourselves to help spot check ourselves. Gabriel told me that clearly wasn't the case in our surveillance video. To ease families with the cremation decision, Gabriel, who runs the crematorium at SunWest Funeral Home, has installed windows, giving families a choice to be with their loved ones through the process. Families also have a choice to start the main burner with a button from the viewing room. Um, will push by themselves or the family designee will push. Others will use all their hands at once, all together. As for Allstate Funeral Home, the owner is being called before a state board next month. Some things have to happen with that operator to, to make that correct. We're back live and you're seeing those viewing windows where families can actually see what is happening with their loved one here at the crematorium. Now, while the economy is rough, Gabriel is suggesting that families also help police the crematoriums. Don't be afraid to ask questions and don't be afraid to view where your loved one is being taken. Live near Sun City West, Mary Ellen Resendez, ABC 15 News. The investigation has sparked outrage across the valley, and many of you are writing us on Twitter and Facebook and ABC15.com. Tanya Brown Wright writes, if you have so much business, you need to hire people, not let dead people rot inside boxes and vans. I hate for that to happen to any of my family members. And Brent B.J. Farley Jr. writes, what he's done with the bodies, taking them home in a van and then leaving them in the heat to the point maggots appear is disgusting and pathetic.